Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Logan with West Desert Wheeler and today we are out here in the beautiful Sand Hollow. I am currently standing on actually a split of two real rock crawling trails. So behind me, you can go up Chain Reaction or you can go up Broken Chain. Uh, I'm probably going to do a little bit of mixture of each obstacles because all I brought out today was my RC car. So what we're going to do is go drive around this Element Gatekeeper. This one's got some serious modifications. It's got axial Capra axles, an axial transmission, and I just picked up these great big 2.2 inch tires. So if you guys are wondering, the wheelbase on this truck is about 13 and 3 eighths inches. So it is definitely stretched. And oh yeah, I put rear steer on it. So it's got brushless, smart, firma, ESC, and motor, and then Spectrum Servos front and rear. This thing is totally kitted out. We're out here ready to go hit some nasty terrain on chain reaction broken chain all right guys so the first obstacles we're going to be driving up here are actually on chain reaction uh, like i say we're right at the split so we're actually a little ways into chain reaction there are a few obstacles beforehand uh, so the difference here is that chain reaction is a nine rated trail so you should in theory be able to get like a really built jeep through the trail i mean i'm talking like 40 inch tires and link suspension all sorts of fun stuff um, the other option is Broken Chain. Now, Broken Chain is rated 12. The rock crawling rating system goes 0 to 10, and uh, anything above a 10 gets real serious. So it is buggy only terrain. And uh, if you guys have not seen the YouTube video of Steve Nance running Broken Chain in his Jesse Haynes buggy, you definitely need to check it out. It is super awesome. The obstacles are huge, and his car handles them like no problem. Now the reason I'm out here on these trails today is because I love straddling ravines like this and once the ratings on the trails get higher there's a lot of little canyons and ravines like this in Sand Hollow so I know that the tough rated trails have the fun stuff to drive with my RC car so that's why I came out to these two trails today. I've actually been out on both of these before so I know roughly what to expect but it's probably been a year or so and uh, looking forward to getting back out onto some of this terrain. I can tell you right now, I don't think I've ever driven this obstacle before, which is definitely looking interesting here. Getting the truck all twisted up. Yeah. I love working the front and rear tires, trying to get them placed just right while trying not to flip over and maintain your balance. It is one of my favorite things to do. So what I'm gonna try and do here is keep my tires higher on the vertical wall than on the slanted angled side on the passenger side of this truck. There we go. I think we can go ahead and turn out, honestly. Using the back tire to hold the truck up until the front is secure down there. And then we can turn the rear out and we're out of the crack. All right, guys, on the real trail, we've got the bonus climb up over here, and then we've got the bypass, or maybe the main line that goes through there. Let's go see if we can force the RC up the bonus line. So one interesting thing about Sand Hollow is that most of the trails actually run along the natural water paths when it rains. So basically, we're running up a bunch of river bottoms, although most of the time, unless it's actively raining, there's no water running through these. So that's how a lot of these formations were made, is just erosion from water and wind, I guess, because it is always windy in Sand Hollow. If you show up to your vacation to Sand Hollow and it's windy, don't be surprised. Don't let it ruin your vacation. It's pretty typical. Let's give it one more shot on this guy. I just drove it before I started recording, so I know that it's possible. Just gotta get your tires right. And these are brand new tires and typically once you start breaking that leading edge on the tires on the tread blocks they really start to hook up even better so i can expect better traction with these super swampers from proline in the future right so approaching this big bonus wall obviously with the real trucks you got this big overhang with that flat ledge where all the rubber is 
On the left side for the RC down here, uh, it looks very sandy and very off camber and steep. So it's very slick and off camber. I think we're gonna try and basically follow right up this wedge that looks like the incline on the right side of that crack just might be possible. So this looks a little steeper in person once we got up here than it actually looked down there. I don't think we're gonna get this one, guys. Well, the rest of this line looked pretty promising, so let's just continue up it as if we can make that vertical climb. Don't wanna miss out on the awesome obstacles out here just because we couldn't make it up the first part. So here we go. Dropping in, staying balanced. Nothing too wild here, just a little bit of work. That's a pretty good formation. I'm glad I skipped over that and kept on going. So now we kind of need to transfer over. So let the fronts track where they want to go and then put the rears where they need to be. Stay out of that crack. And then continue on up. Now this is getting real steep here. There we go. Let's work the rear end over a little bit. Up a ledge. He ate that up like nothing. That was pretty good. This gatekeeper's driving pretty good today, guys. So like I mentioned earlier, there's two trails out here, although I have not left Chain Reaction yet. So honestly, really enjoying Chain Reaction with the RC car, it's super fun. It's definitely not hard to access. Uh, you could just bring a four-wheeler or a side-by-side -side out. That's kind of how I get around, is just running around in my Razor. So if you guys have RC crawlers, you ever end up in Sand Hollow, check out Chain Reaction. And the reason it's called that is because of the constant obstacles and challenges along the way. It's just one after another after another, which makes it perfect for RC crawling because it's nothing but cool rock formations the whole time. You don't have to hike a quarter mile between obstacles. Start our turnout, dip our rear all the way as far as we can, all the way to the top, and we made it up that one. Now I've owned RC crawlers for a few years now, and I've also had a real rock crawler out here before too. Although I no longer have it, I ended up trading that out for the Razor. Yep, I'm one of those guys. Um, I just had a ton of fun with the RC crawlers and kind of wanted to go fast in the real stuff. So trying to work our way up here. The whole point of that is that I've actually been on quite a few trails out here in Sand Hollow. Definitely not all of them, but I've been on quite a few fun ones and probably gonna say it here, Chain Reaction is probably the most fun trail to RC crawl on. I've spent a ton, of, a ton of time in the chutes and ladders area, just so I know it really well, but I think following the actual trail of Chain Reaction is probably the most fun. Alright guys, back down to the trail and we're on the sideline or main line, I don't really know. It is not the big ass wall, so we're going to go hit these major steps here though. Should be a ton of fun. And don't really get like sidetracked. These are real buggy trails. That's a five foot wall right there that you have to climb up and then just a huge set of ledges. This would be super challenging and a ton of fun in a buggy. So here we are looking down at the truck. I haven't driven this yet, so I'm feeling pretty confident that it's possible though. Oh, lifting tire. Got to be really careful which way you point your tires when you back up down obstacles like this. I have a ton of control over what the truck is doing just from the rear steer. And I don't necessarily mean like where I can steer it. I mean, I can put pressure on the suspension in different ways when it's wedged in a crack like this to help settle the truck back down. So once the front tire started lifting like that, I started wiggling my rear steer to find out which way was going to benefit me. And then I continued on trying to figure out exactly what it needed. Although it's getting real steep right here, I don't know if I can climb the wall like I've been doing. Um, yeah, it just looks a little too steep at this point. Maybe. I think the rears, once they get to about here and that front hits that ledge, it's going to be real tedious and careful. And notice that I'm not making big corrections on the steering, just a little bit here and there to try and get those tires exactly where I want it. And then I'm moving very slow. So I'm just crawling along. So that way if the truck starts to get upset, I have time to recover and it doesn't just automatically flip over on me. So that front 
driver is getting a little high on the wall, so I need to turn out of that a little bit. And I'm also going to turn out of it with the rear steer to help the whole truck come back down a little bit. But now it went a little too far. Now I'm trying to bring it back. It's just kind of zigzagging back and forth on these walls. Nice and slow. The Spectrum censored brushless motor. Making easy work of just this super low crawling wheel speed. I really like this system. Another th great thing about this Spectrum system uh, is that it runs super cool. I do have an ESC fan on here. Although I bet if I touch the motor right now, the motor would be like air temperature. It is really not bad. So we can start our turn out here. That was a fun ledge, that was cool. It was challenging, but it was possible. You just had to get your line right, it was super fun. There we go. Here we go, just kind of one of these little intermediate steps in a real truck. This is just a curb, basically nothing crazy, but it's a cool formation for the RC. Just easy work at that, tires eating up those ledges, no problem. Now, as you can see, when it does rain, this does pile up into a little puddle here. So we might be having some real traction issues as we dump down into this. this bull is basically just super dusty right now. Kind of full of the sticks and weeds and stuff. Got that front end up on the wall. Gonna need to get the rears up and balanced as well. But this is steep and there's not a lot of traction. Let's see if these swampers can pull it off. I'm going to move past this one before I break the truck. <laughs> so while I did mention that I had a crawler, you might be wondering if I have driven this trail myself. I have not. Uh, my crawler was not quite in the best shape to attempt this one. This is definitely a tough trail with a rating of 9, and mine, I forced it up an 8 once, but needed a little bit of work, wasn't real happy, and didn't feel confident pushing it to a 9. Front end is so light here. So look, with just the rear steer, I can change what the truck's doing. Creeping. Problem is I'm running out of steering on my rear steer to keep this truck balanced. Same ledge, different view. Let's see if just the perspective I had was what was hurting me. This is a really steep climb. I don't know if this is possible with this truck. Maybe with something a little more low center of gravity. Like that front end just likes to creep up. Oh, we're getting close, but I don't know if it's gonna get it. Trying to grab the top of that hook. Nice, I think we got it. We're out of there, sweet. Sometimes it just takes a different view to get the, to get the view that you're looking for. All right, so finally, lucky for you guys, this is not really a V-notch. This is a nice ledge here, just about the right height for this wheelbase, and hopefully enough of a V there to let the belly clear. I guess we could try the right line, I guess. Just trying to get this ledge lined up, trying to get that lucky hook. And that was it. Work the rear around. Oh, it's so close, it's just bellied out, and then there's no pull from the top. We could even lose this, actually. There. Come on, truck. Digging to China in the front. Woo, we got it. Right on. Swampers dug a hole and found the sand and sandstone in the bottom. Here we are. Let's see if we can drop in and get lined up for this crack on the left side. So this is where rear steer is really gonna shine, is being able to line up the rear end through a tight corner like this. 
and just trying to scrub along the edge of that wall, rotating that truck around. Got the tire on the right side of the crack and we're straddling on all four. Now we just gotta get the climb going. There it goes. A little hopping. Just creep that front right around that ledge there. Get the left rear, we can climb the rear if we want. Guess we can crab the whole truck back up onto it. And we can even dip the rear off, bring the front up, crab across, and get the whole truck on top if we wanted. Well guys, it's been a hell of a ride. Been having a ton of fun out here on Broken Chain and Chain Reaction. Definitely two super cool trails out here in Sand Hollow State Park. Hope you guys didn't get burned out on those. If you've watched all the way till the end, I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys very much. The RC community here on YouTube has been super awesome, super nice. I really enjoyed all the comments and uh, hope you guys are enjoying the content. So thank you very much for watching. Please get subscribed. There are affiliate links to build a truck like this down in the comment section and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Big shout out to Rock Pirates RC. They offer awesome element and axial parts. That's uh, the shock towers in the rear that I'm using as well as a battery tray in this truck. They are from Rock Pirates RC. Also want to send a shout out to my friend over at Axial. Really appreciate all the support he's given me through the past couple months. Thanks again for watching, I greatly appreciate it. Get subscribed if you're not already and keep the rubber side down.